everyone. It's me, Mrs. Gronert, and I'm so excited because today we get to make my favorite bird in the whole world, an Arctic tern. Now, if you have your school supplies, you'll have the paper that you need to make the Arctic tern with you at home. But if you're at home watching this and you want to make an Arctic tern, I've included the link to this template so that you can make an Arctic tern too. Okay, let's begin. The first thing that we need to do is color the Arctic tern's beak and eye. We want to make sure that the beak and eye are a bright red, orange color, or if you don't have red, orange, a bright red or a bright orange. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And if you noticed on your paper, on the template, there is, there are two pieces for the Arctic Tern's head. See those two pieces right there? Yeah, great. Okay. So now what I want to do is cut out all of the pieces with my scissors. If you need help, you can ask a grown-up to help you with this part because some of the pieces are small and you want to be really careful when you're cutting out the head of the Arctic Tern as well as the tail and the body and the wings. The other pieces, those are the pieces of food, the chicken, the egg. You don't have to be quite as careful with those. So I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting around the body of the Arctic Tern. One of the things that I really like about this is that when you look at this template of the Arctic Tern, you can really see that the Arctic Tern does have a very small body compared to its long wings. Do you know why it has such long wings and such a small body? That's right. It's because the Arctic Tern migrates from the Arctic to the Antarctic and back every year. Isn't it incredible? It makes the longest migration of any other animal on Earth. Okay, so now I'm cutting out the second piece of the Arctic Tern's head. And I'll show you what to do when we're done with that. Okay, so now I have the second piece of the Arctic Tern head. I'm going to take my glue stick. If you have other glue at home, that's fine too. And I'm going to add glue to the back part of the head. Then, I'm going to glue that on. Now, whenever I'm using glue, I always want to hold and press so that I know whatever it is that I've glued will stay. So I'm holding and pressing. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So now I have the body of the Arctic Tern and the head complete. I love how you don't just see its beak on one side, but you can see the beak on both sides of the body. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the two long wings. So cut those wings out so that I'm ready glue them on as well. And that glue stick, if you have a glue stick, it's a really good way to glue these wings onto the body of the Arctic Tern. Okay. Other wing. Yeah, look at these wonderful long wings the Arctic Tern has. I love that. It is so cool. It helps it to glide in the sky with the winds as it's migrating that long, long distance. Okay, so now I have my wings done. The next thing I'm going to do is fold. See that little dotted line right there? I'm going to fold on the dotted line on both wings. Fold that back, see that? Fold it back, and then I'm going to make it straight, kind of like this. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing to the other wing. 
Okay, so now I have both pieces folded back. Now that's where the glue's going to go. I'm going to put the glue right there on this section that was folded. And you can see where to put it because it says on your Arctic turn, glue wing here. So you'll be able to put that on really easily. Now, when you put your wings on, make sure they're going in the right direction. If my wing is turned this way on my bird, turned forward, see that? That's not right. You want that curve to turn to the back. So this wing has to go on this side. And I'm going to press and hold for 10 seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my other wing. I'm going to add that glue stick glue. Notice I'm kind of rubbing it all over just to make sure it sticks really nicely. And now I'm going to glue that wing onto my Arctic turn. Oh, these Arctic turns, it's looking so cool. And I'm going to count one, two, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Oh, I love that. Now watch. Now I have the wings on. If the wings are on correctly, you'll see that they turn the right direction. And when I move it like this, my Arctic turn wings flap up and down. Isn't that nice? I love it. Now you will notice on the Arctic turn's body, there's a very small line right here. That small line is for you to cut. We need to cut that. You might want to have your parents help you with this because you want to make sure you only cut right on that little line. Right there. There we go. See that? Now I'm going to cut out the tail of my Arctic turn. Take my scissors again and I'm going to cut out a tail. Tail, cutting that out nicely, there we go. So now my tail is cut out. Do you notice how the tail has a little line on it too? Yeah, that's also going to get cut. So I'm just going to cut right there on that line. Perfect. Now the cool thing is that this piece of the tail fits right inside of where that little cut we made is. See how beautifully that sticks in there? If you have a piece of clear tape, you could add a piece of clear tape right there to hold it on. But if you notice, mine stays on beautifully because of the way the cuts fit so nicely together. And now we have the last part. We're going to add little legs for my Arctic turn. Do you remember what color the Arctic turn's legs are? Yeah, they're the same color as its beak and eye. They're kind of a bright red orange. So I'm going to use that on just a little extra part of my paper. See how I have the fish there? And I'm going to draw a little bird leg. Yeah. That's it. I'm just going to draw a bird leg. I'm actually going to draw two bird legs. I want to make sure my bird leg isn't too skinny. I'm going to add some little webbed feet because the Arctic Terns feet aren't huge. But they aren't tiny either. There's one leg. See that? One little leg. And let me draw the other little leg right there next to the fish. Oh, two little legs there with little webbed feet. Yeah, do you know why Arctic terns have webbed feet? <gasps> they do, they have webbed feet because sometimes they swim in the water. So that they can swim more easily, they have little webbed feet. The webbed feet may also help them to stand more easily on the ice where they live when they go to Antarctica. Those webbed feet are a little bit wider, so they might help it to stand there 
on the ice. Okay, so now I have my two little feet. Look at that, two little feet. And I'm going to glue my two little feet right here on each side of my Arctic turn. You notice there's a spot to add the foot. And you can make the foot however you want. You don't even have to have a foot if you don't want one. I just thought it would be a nice addition to my Arctic turn. So here we go. It's a little foot hanging off of one side. Look at that. <laughs> and let me do the other one. Put the little foot over there. I think I'm going to turn it a little bit different direction so that you can see it hanging down. Uh -huh. Now, my Arctic turn is complete. I might add a piece of tape to the tail later, but there he is. He has feet and he's ready to go. There's my Arctic turn. Watch him fly. <gasps> Look at his wings. I love this Arctic turn. Now that you've finished making your Arctic turn, save it in a safe place because we're going to be using these to pretend to migrate just like the Arctic turn does. I also want you to finish cutting out all of the little pieces that are left on the page. Cut out the fish and the chick and the egg and then save those. Save them for the next lesson because we'll be using all of these things in another lesson. Okay, I hope you had fun making your Arctic turn today. I sure did. I love this little guy. He's such a cool bird. And I hope to see you again very soon.